Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Miniware TS1C soldering iron, very kindly sent to the channel by PCBWay. Uh, it comes with its own little USB-C docking station. It has a super capacitor in it, so it charges up really quickly uh, and you can use it via Bluetooth connection. So you've got continuous control over the temperature. It looks like it's gonna be magnificent. Let's get into this. PCBWay are a full feature online PCB prototype service and they give you the ability to create 14 layer PCBs with silk screens and CNC machining services with very quick turnarounds. PCBWay also have an online store in which there are many tools in there, multimeters, hotbeds, oscilloscopes. Right, that's the PCBWay advert over and done with. Let's get into the TSC1 cordless soldering station in the box underneath the instruction manual, which is quite comprehensive and in multiple languages, is the unit itself. There's a base station here, which is a Bluetooth base station, which links to the soldering iron body. There's a soldering iron body here, which has a super capacitor in it. And then we have one soldering iron tip right here, which uses a standard eighth inch jack style plug, which just slots nicely into the soldering iron body. The soldering iron body has a USB-C port on the back of it. It's quite weighty. It's got a little bit of rubber on the back of it to keep it in one place. Let's go ahead and plug it in. What I'm using here is one of my USB-C high power adapters connected to a Parkside lithium ion battery. So let's just go ahead and plug that in. On the front of the screen, we can see the startup menu. And then what we do is just plug the soldering iron in just like that. If we look at the screen now, we can see that the soldering iron is plugged in. It's connected via Bluetooth. And you can see here that the soldering iron is charging up. Now, it really doesn't take long to charge this soldering iron up, just a few minutes. So I would say that the technology that's inside this soldering iron is likely going to be a supercapacitor rather than a lithium ion cell. It just charges up way too quickly. As soon as this is charged up, let's do some soldering of some thicker wires and see how it copes. We don't have to use the base to turn the iron on. In fact, all we have to do is press the button on top of the iron here and the iron will switch on. And right now, yep, I can feel that that iron is indeed hot and it really didn't take long to get hot, all of a few seconds. And there we go, we're melting solder quite quickly. So if you're soldering something that has a, a large thermal mass, if you press the turbo boost button on the on the top of it here where my thumb is, you can see very quickly we're up to 400 degrees centigrade. So that's actually really quite impressive. Take your thumb off and it drops back down to the setting that you had it set on, on the base station. So reading the product introduction, designed and developed by eDesign, the Miniware cordless soldering station TS1C is the first new energy storage intelligent desktop soldering tool based on Bluetooth communication. The TS1C adopts a supercapacitor energy storage technology, which is different from traditional lithium battery power supply mode, bringing high-tech wireless soldering experience to users. And I completely agree with this. This, is, this really is, is quite an interesting product. There are some really cute little design features here, including a little metal, a little plasticized, metalized tray. And this gives you the ability to be able to put your tip cleaning damp sponge in place. So you can wipe your tip on the curtains on the way out of the door. The other feature that I absolutely adore about this is the fact that the tips are completely interchangeable and very quickly and easily changeable no screws to undo or anything like that just slide out that tip this also means that if you want to you can rotate the tip so if you have a tip that has a chisel on it and you want to use it in a specific direction it's nice and easy to rotate the tip charging the unit is dead simple shove it in the hole Let's see how it compares to a 15 quid Aldi Ferrex soldering iron, which is, in my most humble opinion, almost rubbish. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, fire this soldering iron up. This will take a moment. It's mm, 
yeah, it, it, it seems to have sort of stopped working. And in fact, it's just sort of glued everything to everything. Yeah, load of rubbish, that soldering iron. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's bring out the miniware. Turning it on. Uh, if we press the A button, off we go. We see the power ramping up here. And we can see on the display the iron temperature coming up and immediately and almost immediately we're at 300 degrees so let's go ahead and put the iron tip on these cables here and oh look at this just instant joy instant joy and i'm not even using the power boost button as i connect the iron tip to the thermal mass of these cables here we can see the control circuits adjusting the amount of power output in the iron that is absolutely wonderful and obviously we've finished there and the power will now just drop back down to a level where we're just sort of sitting on tick over and if you don't use the iron for a while it'll drop the iron temperature down to a hundred degrees or thereabouts and it, honestly this is just this is a game-changing iron. Absolutely adore it. There's a bit of me that wishes that this had a display written on it. But to be honest, you're always going to have the base module with you. So it doesn't really matter that much. So now we've returned the iron to the stand. The unit knows that it's in the stand. And it's dropping the temperature into standby mode in anticipation that we might want to pick the iron out again. Let's just pick the iron out again and immediately you can see that that power just ramps right back up to 300 degrees because it's assumed that you are now going to do some soldering the design work that's gone into this is lovely the controls are small but very precise very easy to uh, adjust those temperatures there actually let me just pull the iron out and put it on the deck here so you can see uh, we can adjust our working temperature we can adjust our preheat temperature, so when the iron's in the stand. We can adjust our sleep temperature, so when the iron has decided that you're not using it very much, it'll just drop down to 100 degrees. Um, and by the time you've pulled, uh, yeah, so the sleep time is 300 seconds. If you've not used the iron for 300 seconds, it'll deactivate. The idle time is 300 seconds. Uh, the temperature you can change between Fahrenheit and centigrade. Um, the temperature steps you can adjust that uh, i'll probably go with actually five uh backlight on the uh, on the display here but there we go that's pretty much it all bluetooth controlled and uh super capacitor driven i mean wow that is cool technology i've never owned anything with a super capacitor in it before now i do thanks to pcb way and thanks to miniware now, clearly, you don't need what I've got here. You can just use a USB-C PD uh, a power adapter. But it has to be a proper USB-C PD power adapter, something that can offer up to 60 watts at 20 volts. This is something that I developed and made myself, which ultimately is a USB-C high-power PD output device that connects to a power tool battery. But that actually gives me the ability to be able to take this iron and use it in various different locations. Actually, this particular PCB here is notoriously difficult to solder to because it has a massive heat sink uh, on the back of it. Ultimately, it is just a massive heat sink. Uh, it's a lighting PCB. Uh, so what we have here are some coils and some various different bits and bobs on here. So all of that said, let's go ahead and just put a little bit of solder on one of the copper clad pads on here in preparation to actually solder a component to it. And we can see, we can definitely, I can definitely feel that the iron is, is struggling just a little bit at 300 degrees. Um, in fact, if you look at that, you can see that there's a, uh, quite a spiky tip on the top of there because the solder hasn't flowed properly uh, again down to that aluminium uh, base plate there but what we'll do now is we'll hit the turbo boost button boom there we go and we can see the power going up we can see the temperature going up and now if I put the soldering iron tip on here 
that has flowed a lot better uh, yes indeed so if we look at that solder now we can see that's a nice uh, that's a nice fillet of solder on the top of there that's all looking pretty good the the, the aluminium backing is really quite warm but um but yeah that's a, that's a very different sort of type of pcb to to, to solder to the few and far between mostly in lighting rigs uh, and and this one indeed came from a high powered lighting rig now we've done a little bit of soldering and if we look at the display on here we can see that the battery level in the iron is quite low so we're going to have to plug that in and let that supercapacitor charge back up and off we go we can see the charge taking place and because the iron has been put in its stand we can see the temperature dropping into standby temperature mode as well but underneath this little tip here <laughs> is indeed yet another USB-C connector. This is used for a firmware upgrades, but can also be used uh, to provide power to the pen for emergency soldering use. So how cute is that? But anyway, that's a little stainless steel magnetic uh, topper that just sits on top of the iron there. How cool is that? That's really quite pretty. And very quickly, again, very quickly, that battery is charged up. It, it, it literally takes a couple of minutes to get that charge level back up to full whack so that you can use the iron for a five or ten minutes. Iron's back up to temperature. And um, here's something that I made the other day, which uh, wasn't particularly pretty. So I was just thinking about uh, touching up some of these solder joints on this PCB here. Yeah, and that solder flows beautifully. So there it is, folks, the TS-1C from Miniware, a Bluetooth controlled, temperature controlled, super capacitor, super duper soldering iron, very kindly sent in from PCB way. Thanks ever so much, PCB way. Do make sure you give us a good old thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers and beers. Bye for now.